Hey guys, I'm going to do another quick video for you tonight. Um, talking about and showing you um, some diff maintenance and uh, talking about what you're um, trying to do and what the most important things to do are when you're maintaining your diffs. So let's get to it. Um, so when you're, I've already um, drained it to speed the video up, but I'll show you what I do. Um, so when I open the diff up, I'll actually just turn it upside down on a paper towel and let um, most of the fluid drain out. And then I'll use this um, product from PT Racing. Um, it's a diff clean. What it is is a really thin uh, silicone. Basically like a, a thinnest form of silicone oil you can get. And I'll just put a little bit of that in there and then put the top back on. I won't bolt it and I'll just spin it around a bunch. And then that thins out the existing leftover um, old diff oil that's in there. And then I'll just take and let that all drain out. So I've already done that to speed the video up. So now that all the old oil is drained out, um, I got my gears laid out here so that they can finish um, draining. Um, now the next step will be pulling the out drives out. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now this is probably this this point right here would probably be the most important step in the maintenance of your diffs uh, in my opinion something that people probably less experienced people probably don't think about but that's why I want to do the video alright so I pulled the o-ring out I pulled the out drive out of the cup so now what I'm going to do is a little simp green on my rag and clean where the bearing goes, that little surface where the gasket goes, and then I'm going to get a little X driver on my rag and clean where the out drive goes in there. And I'm also going to clean the groove down in there where the O-ring sets. <clears throat> So, how I do that is actually take a 5.5 nut driver and wrap my towel around it real tight. And then just stick it down into that groove and twist. And it gets that groove nice and clean. Okay, and then the next step will be cleaning off the crusty out drive. Um, this is the most important step in freshening up your diffs because... After a while, and lots and lots of running, after a while, this out drive will get so crusty, it'll actually kind of start getting sticky and tight into the cup. And they're both metal surfaces. So keeping this freshly greased is a pretty important step in your diffs performing correctly. So that's as, imp as important to keep those freshly greased and clean as keeping fresh fluid in your discs so something to check also check the bearing make sure they're good when i got the cup off and all cleaned up what i'll do is check and make sure the cup needs replaced so there's two things that you would need to check to make to know if it needs replaced um, whether the screw holes are stripped out which you would know that when you took the other ones off if they were tight or not and whether or not the pins have started to wear, the cross pins have started to wear into the actual grooves of the cup. So how you can easily check that is take like a 1.5 hex driver and just run them along the walls up and down where the cross pins set. And if there's started to be like a little half moon wearing into it, you'll feel the hex driver fall into that groove. 
this cuff is still really good so there's nothing wrong there so I will also go ahead and clean off the o-ring and just do it a give it a quick look over make sure there's no chunks out of it or anything crazy and wipe off that old washer all right so you got when you're to this point it's all drained you've got all those parts clean gears are drained and clean now then it's just uh re-greasing and reassembling so i'll take and i use white lithium grease uh, on all of this so i'll take in this groove that's in the out drive fill it up all the way around with with the grease all the way around that right in that groove and then where the out drive goes in the cup swirl some into there and then where the groove the o-ring with the groove for the o-ring i'll actually put some in there too okay then you're ready to assemble everything You get that big old glob on the top of the out drive and you push it in, just take your finger and wipe that off. Okay, now then time for the O-ring. Now you push that on there with your finger and how you get it down in the groove is take a 7 millimeter nut driver and just... Push down the groove and kind of twist it a little bit. Till it stays in there and you're good to go. And then to washer and pan. Make sure your pen is centered so it's easier to put the gear on. So when you get to this stage, there's one final step to make sure that the O-ring is fully seated in place, which is just hold on to the cup and pull out, as well as pull it out on the out drive, and just spin it around. Applying pressure to that O-ring, making sure it's seated all the way around. And once you've done that, we are ready. <clears throat> you want that where that gasket sits you want that to stay completely wiped off and dry so keep that in mind during the process of building so now we're ready to start putting oil in this thing so I'm going to show you a tip during this that I didn't used to do it's something I just started doing to Make sure that I'm putting the exact same amount of fluid in the diff every single time. And <clears throat> making it so there's no mess or nothing to wipe off or clean. And it's just nice and clean and it's the exact same consistent amount every time. So to do that, I actually have this... Um, it's like a mini pocket scale. It's like a jewelry scale, I think. It might be what it is. It's like a digital scale that um, you want to make sure you get one that can do grams. And um, I got this one off Amazon for only like $15. I liked it because it come with this 50 gram weight to be able to calibrate it so that you know you're getting a perfect measurement. 
So, yeah. So, like I said, it's just a small little mini digital scale that you can um, grab off Amazon super cheap. This one's like 15 bucks. Anyway, we will go ahead and before we put that bottom gear in, we're just going to put a little bit of fluid down there in the bottom of the cup before the gear. That way no air gets trapped in there. And we'll just make sure we're not, uh, no big air bubbles are going to be there before we put the gear in. All right. So then, put the big gear back in. Make sure it gets all the way down the washer and spin it a couple times so no air gets trapped around the sides. And then, put the small gears back in. And it's a good idea to look, look the gears over and make sure there's nothing messed up with the gears or anything and you want to make sure you're doing it on a clean area because if you get anything in the teeth of those gears and get it put in your cup then that's going to cause it to have like a feel like it's locking up all right so when you get this all the gears in there and it's assembled and clean and re-greased so you turn a scale on let it zero out Make sure it's on grams, put that down there, and what I'm going to do is, is fill this up till I get to 41.5 grams. So just go really slow, you start getting close to it. I say 41.5 like I did <laughs> my note says 41.6 so filled up till it said till it's 41.6 grams of oil well it's not 41.6 grams of oil it's 41.6 grams um, is the total weight of the diff with the oil in it so more of these 3 a.m. videos where I'm saying weird stuff. Anyway, so in doing it with this method, you can make sure it has the exact same amount of fluid in it every single time. And it uh, there's no need to wipe any off or any of that. So it's nice, clean, and it's the exact same amount of fluid every single time. So, now that we got it at 41.60 grams, I'll just spin a couple times to make sure no air bubbles got trapped under the gears or anything. And then, what I'll do is I like to kind of let the oil get back in these where the cross pins go. So, I'll just kind of tilt it and let some oil run back in those grooves it's probably unnecessary I imagine once you seal the diff up and it's in action it's gonna sling the oil all up, all over the place anyway but I like to do it <clears throat> So, you get that part done, you basically just let it sit 
Make sure your top surface is completely dry where that gasket goes, like I said. Let it sit, and any air bubbles that's in it will come to the top and get out of there while you're working on the other side of the diff, the gear side. So I do take and dry this gasket, so make sure it's nice and dry. And then this side of the diff, I'll basically do the same thing as I did on the other side of the diff. Pull the gear off, pull the out drive out. Check the bearing. Um, when you got this apart, it's nice to, um, this is your ring gear. So it is nice to get a close up look of all the teeth on your ring gear and make sure they're not overly worn and it's time to replace that gear. You definitely would want to, if it needs replaced, you would want to do it when you're, you're rebuilding your diff. It's the most convenient time. So, when I'm cleaning this gear, I do dry this surface completely dry. Okay, all the parts are clean. Same thing as before. Put some where the O-ring goes. And then in where the outdrive spins, fill that up. Just rub that around there. And then the outdrive. You don't want to overdo it, you just want to put a layer around there, like you don't want it like bulged up or anything like that. You just want to have it a nice clean layer, but you want enough that it completely fills that groove. Okay, so then we'll put this in. I always spin it a bunch when I'm putting it in there, make sure everything's nice and free. Push in on it a little bit, make sure it's not dragging. So it's all good. O ring in. And then use the uh, seven millimeter to seat it. Okay, center it up the pin, and you do the same thing on this, pull out and spin. When you, if you feel, when you're spinning it, if you feel any like, uh, let's see, if you feel like a drag on the washer or there's a little like catch in it, then you can try flip the washer over, and if it does, if it still feels that way, you're gonna to have to replace that washer. Sometimes <clears throat> I've seen, um, I don't know what causes it, but I've seen like there be able to get a little burr in the washer, and it's so small of a burr that you can't even really see it. When you look at the washer, you can't feel it or see it, but when you assemble it and the, and the pin is sliding against that washer, the pin feels it so if you have that <clears throat> try to flip the washer over or replace the washer because it'll make your diff uh, perform very poorly put 
the uh, gasket back in completely dry and then you're ready to by the time you've got that done the diff is completely perfect and ready to drop your gear in and your oil level should be absolutely perfect right where it, right where it needs to be um, and you don't need to do anything except drop this in and bolt it on so it's much cleaner and uh, much more consistent so I'm gonna end the video right there I'll get this bolted up the only thing is is when you bolt it up just make sure you turn your diff and make sure it's all smooth and good and nothing's feeling weird and then you're good to go so uh, thanks for watching guys we'll see you in the next one